part three of our broadcast session here, and we're at ice level now. We're in third period. Mr. Bionich there, and let's roll tape. Okay. Working the goal on here, getting over the shoulder perspective. Working for the best angle, sight lines, being in position, being at the net, being where we need to be. Seeing what we need to see, calling what we need to call. Two steps. Okay, we have got uh, this is World End here defending. And then in near to us. Two steps. Alright, I think it's five to one at this point. Warriors pretty much spanking the hilltoppers. Okay, Nick is at the far end. Just zooming in to see if these are the mannerisms and why language you think you're presenting. Not saying one way or another, but always when you see yourself on tape, you get an idea of how you really look to everybody else, how you communicate to everybody else. Okay, arm up, bam. Everybody's changed. Arm down, bam. Are you going to take me home tonight? Okay, uh, blowing a whistle on goals, the high school rubric does tell you to do it. I'm getting a text message from Nick Bionich. He says, I finally took the Stevens patch off my pants. Only took half a season. <laughs> I was going to make a comment about that. I'm sending out messages to the universe. Um, what in the world was I talking about before Nick interrupted me here? Okay, I was talking about, I don't have the foggiest, I'll have to rewind the tape and rewind myself. Hey, there were some real rubes standing next to me in the end here when I was taping. It was too much. One guy was wearing, I was going to try and get him on video, but he'd probably see me videotaping him and he'd come over and Spit some beach nut in that dude's eye. Anyway. See, that's the thing, uh, that, that blue line thing there. That, the way you guys, oh, I was talking about blowing a whistle on goals. Uh, just point. Your partner was. I don't know why everybody else, it, everybody, it's just a, a thing that's done. So, that'd be my advice. Um... I was going to try to get this guy on videotape. He had a Copenhagen hat. You know the old chew hats they used to have that looked like a tin of chew? Here we go. Oh, come on, buddy. Uh, working the system the way you guys have chosen to do it there in Seaway is going to limit you on some of that stuff. That's one con. And those of you who are listening going, what the heck is he talking about? These are conversation topics that Nick and I had afterwards. 
By the way, on the ride home, it was a full moon that night. Supposedly, on the radio, they said the moon was 30,000 miles closer to Earth than usual. So it was like super bright, and it was lighting up all the snow-covered pines on my drive home. I was listening to Gopher Hockey on the radio. It was the last part of a magical night. I'm telling you. I hope the guys working this game enjoyed it as much as I did. Okay, we're halfway into this section here. Okay, that, see that, that? We've seen that twice now, where you had to pull up at the half wall hash marks there to let play get by you. You know why? It's because you got to stop and call that blue line. Now, what I do, and what a lot of others do, which is they drop, whoa, that wasn't very nice. Anybody want to see that again? <coughs> and when we watch you delay here, it looks, I know you've worked a lot on not looking nonchalant. It looks kind of casual in there. Here, blow them up. Blow them up. There you go. I'm pissed off. I'm going to push that kid down. Okay, does that look like an NHL referee with the delay? Okay, slow it down a little bit, Nick. Oh, look at that. A little wackatooie over here. I'm going to try to spear you in the elbow. That's why we keep... All 40 guys within our site at all times. That's why we keep everybody in our view because of stuff like that. And what if you really did pitch pork them right in the gizzard? You're going to be able to see that. Um. <coughs> but if I'm calling the line, going back to getting away from this stuck on the half wall biz, because I've seen it twice now in the last few minutes and I saw it once with your partner. I don't think that's good. You know you're going to have to trail play a little bit more or do what I choose to do, which I said is a drawback to two on, is I'll back up into the zone and I'll cheat the line. Something's getting cheated there and that is the one drawback to the system. I have very many cons or excuse me, pros versus cons in this system that I like it and why I like teaching it. But one con is you're cheating something when you're on that line. Either the line or your view of the play coming over the line. And that's unfortunate in a three official system. Alright, 5-1 here. Mars Lakeview Arena, Duluth, Minnesota, Friday, January 29, 2010. Working the goal line, working the sight line. Okay, that's where you could have, you know, consider bumping into the net. I know that is totally unnatural, and that's why it's a tough move. I like teaching things that are natural. But when you bump into the net, Players really are in tune that there is a big metal cage there, and really they don't go near it. Alright, this is where they came to see number three there, the Beast, Brock Nelson. Based on the people in tennis, coming to an NHL rink in your future. Maybe he's the next T.J. Oshie. Maybe he's the next Matt Allwelling. Maybe he'll be a great referee in the future. Have a great college career. I don't know. Hey, it was great seeing this game. I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.